Welcome to another Satisfactory episode, and it is that time in my gameplay series where we need to work at building a mega factory. So sit back, relax, and let's jump into it. All right, mega factory time. And what does that mean? That means my goal for this is to have 30 nuclear reactors all getting everything recycled uh, so there's no nuclear waste and then having all of the infrastructure in place so that we can look after and maintain 100% efficiency building of the four items that are required for the last phase of the space elevator. And those four items, of course, are the assembly director system, the magnetic field generator, nuclear pasta, and the thermal propulsion rocket. I want those to be able to run seamlessly. And of course, we've already got, of course, our golden cup here. So we don't need it to unlock the space elevator but we're gonna use this to all dump into the awesome sink to be able to create awesome point tickets for us so we can, you know, get the last of the trophies and stuff from the awesome shop. So that is my goal now, is to build a factory that is gonna be able to support that infrastructure. So what does that really mean? So what this means is a ton of mathematical calculations that I had to do to figure out exactly all of the equipment that was going to be required, all of the buildings that would be required, all the raw materials that would be required for building this mega factory. So where do we start off with? Let's look at raw materials. Raw materials are going to be almost 2,500 iron, and that's iron ore, almost 1,200 cuterium ore, almost 500 raw quartz, just over 1,600 coal, 700 cubic meters of nitrogen gas, almost 1,500 cubic meters of water, 1,600 limestone, just about 1,300 cubic meters of crude oil, 2,700 copper ore, almost a thousand bauxite, 500 sulfur, and 600 uranium ore. So that's just the raw materials that it's going to need. So what's going to be needed for the actual production of all that equipment to get to those end game items? Well, that was some time to be able to calculate all that as well. And that works out to almost 50 manufacturers, almost 65 refineries, almost 125 assemblers, 40 foundries, 25 blenders, over 150 smelters, over 350 constructors, 25 Mark III miners, 4 oil extractors, 2 gas extractors, 15 water extractors, and 3 particle accelerators to be able to get this all up and functioning. So, it's, uh, it's going to be a ton of work, but... I, you know what? It's going to be amazing to see all of this working in one seamless factory. So first things first is I need to find a site that I'm going to be building this factory. And, you know, it needs to be readily accessible by water and hopefully readily accessible by the other materials and stuff that we're needing. Because I'm probably going to start with a fresh factory. This one is going to keep doing what it's doing. But we're going to be getting fresh materials and everything running for the new factory. So now it's time to go find that site. All right, we have found a spot out here in the desert. And uh, now I'm just going to work on getting a platform all set up here and work on getting all of the iron. I'm going to start with the iron ingot production line. Um, I'll probably set up like one floor that's iron ingots, another floor that's like copper ingots, another floor that's caterium, and then 
you know, maybe try to work at vertically building this. We'll kind of see how that goes. And then items that need fluid or water, um, we'll probably build them along the coastline and transport the materials there where we want them to go. So for right now, I'm going to get started with getting this platform all built out here and start laying out all of the smelters we're going to use for making our iron ingots. All right, I do have to pause in the middle of this video to recognize the April Fools add-on or, or update that they did for Satisfactory with our giant lizard doggos. These things are just the cutest in the world. And not to mention, we're sporting some great big massive head that doesn't even fit inside the Explorer. So yeah, that's, that's how our day is going here. Uh, as we're trying to build our iron ingot factory. So, yeah. Anyhow, back to building the factory. All right. We have completed our iron ingot manufacturing station. This is making 1,560 iron ingots for us, which is probably a little bit more than we're actually going to need. So we're never going to have to worry about the line starving out at all. And um, the next phase of our menu, uh, mega factory that we're building here is going to be manufacturing our concrete. So I do have a couple of lines of limestone running here now. I will go and, and track down some more limestone um, if needed, but the next thing is going to be getting everything all set up and ready to go to be able to load up the constructors for getting all of our concrete built. All right, we have now just completed the concrete manufacturing assembly line. We have, what, 1836 constructors making concrete for us right now, all being fed by two conveyor lines. It's a little bit more constructors by like 0.7 um, per side here. So I'm gonna be like, we might be over by like a total of one extra constructor. Um, but it's just kind of the way I worked out math wise and then that way the system's always gonna run We'll just it'll never end up stalling out. It'll always be making enough of our concrete that we need So that's where we're at right now. We have all of our iron ingots are set up all iron ingots are manufactured We don't have them feeding into anything yet until we know kind of what we're uh, You know how the setup lines or the production lines are gonna be going that we'll be using these iron ingots and now we have all of the concrete. I'm kind of going through and getting all of the raw materials done. So the next thing I'm probably going to be working on will end up being the copper nodes, getting all of the copper we need to be able to make copper ingots. But I think right now we're going to pause right here on this episode with what we've got built here so far. So we're out in the desert. Our mega factory is underway. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Make sure you reach down, hit that like button on the video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Ring that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload. And, you know, continue watching our progress as we are building this mega factory with the ultimate goal of having all four of the items for our, the, uh, the space elevator, those last four end game items each one of them getting manufactured at 100% efficiency and all of the materials supported to be able to do that, as well as we're going to have a nuclear reactor, a nuclear power plant that consists of 30 reactors and all the recycling to be able to handle that. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.